iOS games. <laughs> This is casual mumbo jumbo. Hey, it's not like these are real video games, right? They don't have a plastic controller. They don't have, they don't have cords all over the place. What a ju Oh, this, this is an action RPG? What's that? C custom control mapping and leveling up and stuff? Uh, well, that all sounds like a real video game. Are you sure this is an iOS game? Uh, see, there it is. There it is. It's touch controls. I, just get out of here with your, with your IO, with your orc vengeance for the iPhone. Now the only thing separating orc vengeance from similar games on dedicated handheld consoles is that it's more affordable. Otherwise, you couldn't tell the difference. And of course, given the team behind it, that makes sense. Orcs Vengeance is the work of Big Cave Games, a little studio with massive talent. Its two founders worked at places like Treyarch and id Software before setting out on their own to develop games with a smaller team and smaller budgets. Orcs brings a clearly Diablo-like experience to Apple's platforms, a blueprint for which touch control would seem like a seamless addition. And it is. You play the entire game with a simple touch. Touch a spot, your orc goes there. Touch an enemy, you attack. Orcs couldn't be simpler to control, yet it also provides console-like gameplay. A part of that depth comes from its gesture system. You can assign various skills or attacks to certain gestures, whether drawing a quick circle, double tapping, or even performing a quick swipe. It feels good, and more importantly, it just works. And actually, the control customization is exceeded in depth by the RPG elements. Leveling up and you know, improving your attributes is obviously a key component, but there's more than that too. There's a seemingly endless amount of items and weapons to collect and either use or sell. So your orc skills and abilities are totally up to you. But you know, what I find most interesting about orc is its development foresight. They took this genre that sucks up your time and demands long play sessions and condensed it into an iOS game that, you know, while still deep and rewarding, can also be played in shorter bursts. By throwing in lots of checkpoints, it's adapted perfectly for gaming on the go. And not only that, but it has the look of a console game as well, and all on devices that some would have you believe aren't real gaming platforms. Cling to buttons and cords if you must. The rest of us will enjoy games like Orc Vengeance, a great little action RPG that, yes, we got in the App Store.